Hi guys, today in this video I am going to talk about NCBI. This is part 1, how to use NCBI. In this video, the primary focus will be about the various tutorials, webinars and other documentation the NCBI provide you. And the, pur the purpose of these tutorials, webinars and other tools is to understand the NCBI and take advantage from the various resources as well as to use the NCBI more effectively and easily. But first of all, I would like to introduce NCBI. NCBI stands for National Center for Biotechnology Information and it is a part of NLM and NIH. NLM is the National Library of Medicines and NIH is the National Institute of Health. The purpose of NCBI is to create public databases and also conducts research in computational biology and bioinformatics. NCBI also developing software tools for the analysis of genomic data. And the sole responsibility of NCBI is to disseminate biomedical information across the world. So let's go and visit the NCBI homepage. Okay, I'm going to close this window. And let's go open browser. Okay, type NCBI in the search box and it will open for you the National Center for Biotechnology Information address. So from here you can go to the home page of NCBI, click on it. Alright, so this is NCBI homepage. Welcome to NCBI. On the top, you can see two options resources and how to. Click on resources. So, here we have different resources. Uh, you can use any resource for your purpose. Suppose I want to uh, run analysis on my sequence data to check the similarity between sequences. So, I will use the DNA and RNA and then blast okay and if you want to submit sequences or sequence data to NCBI you can use these different tools of gene bank okay and right here we have account uh, and it is very important to make account because when you make account the NCBI provide you a space called my NCBI and this space all of the activities you're doing in NCBI is stored okay and right here again we have resources so these are the same things uh, on the top so you can access to resources from here or from here okay and here we have popular resources so this means uh, these are the resources people using day by day and more frequently like the blast and permit the permit used for literature search and down below we have ncbi news and blog so in ncbi always updating this database Okay, and you can see the news and blogs from down below. In the center, we have different options. Submit, download, learn, develop, analyze and research. And today video, I'm going to show you the learn option. Uh, find help documents, attend a class or watch a tutorial. And the purpose of this uh, option uh, NCBI giving you to help you to understand the NCBI and mo use more effectively this database. Okay, so click on it. All right, this is learn window and down below you can see uh, webinars and courses, conferences and presentations, tutorials and documentation. So let's see and check the webinar and courses so in webinars and courses there are in person courses live webinars and webinar recordings okay so click on it it's loading okay so now we have webinars and courses and upcoming webinars and courses Archive webinars and courses. 
so click on it so you can see uh, already deposited webinar and courses in this list and you can search this whole list for your purpose suppose i want to see information about human population genetic variation data at ncbi so here we have a webinar posted on december 4 2019 and this is time day online webinar and we have materials and recording so you can use materials also you can watch the video recording click on materials so here we have materials and different formats and pdf and powerpoint presentation and here you can see the size so you can download these materials and can read uh, about human population genetic analysis so it is good to un uh, check these resources uh, most of the time because maybe you can find the relevant information for your research okay and let's go back here we have conferences and presentations click on it so we have so NCBI provide you conferences and presentation about various topics like uh, plant and animal genome conference uh, this is date time NCBI staff will participate in the Plant and Animal Genome Conference in San Diego. Attend NCBI presentations, poster, and visit us at the NCBI booth to learn about NCBI research and products. So, uh, NCBI exhibit booth, learn how to use NCBI resources for plant and animal genomes. So, you can uh, look on these conferences and presentations. Uh, so, maybe you can find some interesting presentation and conferences for your research okay so let's go back and tutorials so this uh, the tutorial option is very important because uh, the tutorial always give you methods about these resources so let's click on it so here you can see uh, the different and many tutorials in this list uh, type is video so the file is video type and title and description a guide to ncvi gene expression part one uh, a guide to ncvi gene expression part two so if you doing research and gene expression it is very important to watch these videos to understand the gene expression process uh, a guide to NCBI gene expression part 3 so these are all parts about gene expression and down below uh, in PDF form you can read align two sequences aligning two groups of sequences and displaying the result in the CBI sequence viewer so you can click on it if you want to understand how to align two sequences okay uh, suppose I'm going to download this file to see inside in this file about the sequences so it directly opens in the browser uh, and it will take few seconds to upload this is taking time it's like crazy thing okay we have now the PDF file align two sequences using NCBI Blast. So see, this is beautiful document, and uh, like the see, you can see align two or more sequences using Blast. NCBI Blast service provide a special function activated by checking the align two more sequences. So you can read these all the information. So, and the uh, easy thing in this uh, file. NCBI always trying to give you the graphical display to understand everything more easily and clearly. See, here we have these graphical displays. 
So let's go back and see the other options. Blast guide. So if you want to understand the blast, you can read the blast guide. And down below we have many videos down below you can use for your purpose. It's important to search these videos. And here down below we have HTML versions. How to align more two or more 3D structure to a given structure. And you can read design PCR primers and check them for specificity. So this is very important document to learn how to make and design PCR primers. Okay, and let's go back. And finally, we have documentation option, online manuals, handbooks, fact sheets, and facts. So here we have uh, handbooks about NCBI, manuals about different software tools. Let's see. So here we have, you can see the resources, 1000 genome browser. So this is very useful resource. Uh, anyone who interested in the genome subject can see genomes in this option assembly ping it online nucleotide sequence submission service so and down below you can see the blast standalone version blast web version the standalone version downloadable version of the sequence similarity search tool so you can download this version uh, for your desktop and this is online version and right down below you can see different things gene bank uh, so if you click on gene bank uh, it will show you collection of submitted nucleotide sequences so here you can see the gene bank overview what is gene bank and access to gene bank there are several ways to search and retrieve data from gene bank so all of the information about gene bank is given in this page you can read uh, these information to understand the gene bank and how to use gene bank. Okay, so this is all about the learning option in NCBI and very important tool uh, in the NCBI. I always read this information, it's uh, helping me a lot to understand the NCBI and keep myself updates about these resources. So guys, I hope you like this video and I hope it's going to be useful for you. Uh, I will see you in next video. Take care.